Welcome back everybody to let's make friends with some revolutionaries. All right I swear like everything in like that the 3.0 storyline like starts with like the plot line go make friends with X I mean it, uh, it's hilarious. All right, so we're about to get some uh, um, Alcoholic beverage in which to Possibly get info on this mongrel who we are trying to help recruit to our cause. Ah. I'm gonna remember where that person is. I honestly don't know. I may have to walk around a little bit. I have an idea. Let's try that first. I always keep forgetting where the Aetherite is around here. All the time. I thought of the right location. I just picked the actual wrong teleport. Go me. Go me. I'm awesome. No, really. I'm lame. Uh, don't ever listen to me, guys. <laughs> Hello! Would you like some booze? Funny how we found her so quickly. What, does she have a name tag or something? Oh, oh, we got a scandal on our hands. Ooh, this is getting juicy. But yeah, leave, 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 leave it to our, our friendly little neighborhood barkeep to, you know, um, have just the right thing to get us just the kind of information we want. Oh, why didn't we think of this sooner? Shadow next time we need information out of someone, cook them a nice home-cooked meal. Maybe we'll get exactly what we want out of it. Speaking of Tadaro and Afano, where the fuck are you? Like, really? Yeah, Ishgardian men kind of have a little problem with this. So, so what do we do from here? Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, we're giving boost to everybody. Oh, this is fantastic, you guys. What a bro. I would say give that guy a raise, but he kind of owns the place, so I, I don't think that would exactly work, but maybe we can give convince one of our uh, lovely friends in our beautiful high house we've become so much ingrained with uh, to uh, throw a little bit of fun your way, maybe. Alrighty then. So like, like how many different wine, like, flavors do we have around here if there's one single one that not one but two different people have very specifically associated with a very specific person? I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean it's helpful to get the, exactly the kind of information we know very quickly, but at the same time, that, that's just kind of weird. Yeah, she sees her teleport up here from walking. 
And furthermore, that it that it's so ingrained into people that they, after all these years, they actually distinctly remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come on. So now we know we're looking for her daughter, okay? And we know what color her hair is, okay? Well, I'm not sure that might help- uh, was gonna help us as well as you think it's going to help us, because these people already won't talk to me. So, I mean, we have an idea of who directly to look for, but if she's not exactly prancing out in the open for us to- to, to kind of corner and question, um, how is this gonna help? Hey, see- see, now I have a face to put with that name. Sort of. Well, what if I gave you some booze? See? These people aren't gonna help me because they don't think I'm a poor person. You know, I- I- I kinda slayed- well, the city helped. A lot. But, um, we- we kinda just slayed the dragon that has been ransacking your city for a thousand years? Kind of a massive big deal over here. I, I literally just saved your children and your children's children and your children's 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 children over here. Can I at least get a mild thank you for that? Or at least, very least, pass my name on and if she wants to come to me or if she's agreeing to meet me, may maybe we can kind of meet in the middle there or something maybe? Like, like at least give me a chance. I mean, I mean, let her tell me to fuck off if she wants me to tell me to fuck off, you know? Grant me that. Alphano, where did you leave Tataru? Kinda sorta, yeah. It involved booze. You're not allowed to have any yet. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying, you know, but we, we, we don't have time to afford, you know. Sir Emmerich, about to blow the whistle. Might get himself killed in the process. Don't exactly have time for this shit. Alphano, I know she's older than you are, but... Fuck's sake, you guys can't even use the buddy system? Ugh. What am I gonna do with you two? Just what am I gonna do with you two? Okay, go home, guy. You're, you're still drunk, okay? Tataru! Hey, what are you doing up here? This is my platform. You go search elsewhere. No, 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 no. No, I'm taller than you are. Therefore, you go search over there. You're the one who lost her, not me. I still love you and all, but right now you're kind of in a little doghouse with me right now. Now, Tadaro, you're tiny. You can hide. Yeah, she's like the only Lollafell in the city. Oh great, let's tackle these fuckers. Come on, we have the high ground over here. Really? You really did the whole trapped in the dead end bullshit. Where do you think you're going, Missy? Quick, Chatter, die between their legs! I... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Tataru, your workplace is literally right behind you. Go and seek refuge there. 
What's going on here? Was it you, boy? Piss off. Fuck you, she's my friend. Hold on. I've seen them around. They're in and out of house for Tom's manor all the time. Yes. Hi, guy. You remember me? Maybe a little too drunk at the time to notice, but yeah, you're the one who actually suggested we forget the Forgotten Knight in the very first place. Way back when we came to this city. And oh, by the way, the girl you're chasing, she kind of works at the bar. Y'all didn't notice that? Oh, I see. Skulking about at your highborn master's bidding, eh? Bloodhounds hoping to catch a whiff of heresy, is that it? Alright, dude, fuck you. We were already arrested for this shit. Surprised that didn't make the news anywhere. You are quite mistaken, I assure you. We came here to help. And if you know what's good for you, you will let us pass. Uh, yeah, I don't think threatening them immediately after is gonna work is gonna work, but I would like you to see him see you punch him in the face. Haha! <laughs> Listen to the pups yapping. Come here, boy. I'll give you cause to yelp. Enough! Leave threatening women and children to our betters. We don't have the knack. Killed her. Lay a finger on the blue blood's pups, and you're like to lose the hand. Ooh, I like her already. In often I get called on by glorious heroes like yourself. So tell me, what have I done to deserve you? Uh, yeah, hi. We, we, we kind of need a big favor. I know this is going to sound really, really fucking out of nowhere and retarded, but we're kind of fucking desperate here. Yeah, and by the way, Nidhug's dead. I, I don't know if you've heard. The city kind of hasn't really... News really hasn't gone around the city enough to, to stir up talking, but I assure you that that was the thing that really happened. Oh, what happened to your other one? Did a dragon take it? I'm sorry, that was terrible. How about I say, fuck you and kick you in the dick? How about that for something to say, huh? Huh? That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, come on, I would've kicked their ass. You would've known that. It's all right, Tataru. You'll be fine. Yeah, we've been prancing in around there forever, okay? And now we're like, oh yeah, let's go back and have a talk here. Real steely if you ask me, but... At the same time, you know, considering the place serves both highborn and lowborn alike, I, I guess it's pretty much the closest thing we're gonna get to a neutral talking ground there is, so... Y you'll not hear any complaints from me. Maybe we can share a couple drinks in the process. Is, uh, yeah. Ooh, 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 we have a glowy. Ooh. You already said that, jackass. Yeah, you already said that too, asshole. Oh, no, no, you're the talker. How about we cook them something? Tadaru, one of your meals got on the menu here. We'll talk to the boss and be like, hey, hey, you know that girl over there? Yeah, she works for me and we got a nice little stew on the menu now. Yeah, be nice to her. She's my employee, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so are we gonna have a bar brawl on our hands over here? That would be awesome. So 
So is that money or is that herbs? Sorry, buddy. You don't gotta go home, but y'all gotta get the heck out of here. Okay, so by the way, Nidhogg's dead. Yeah, the Holy See's been lying to us for fucking ever. And uh, Emmerich's gonna blow the whistle and might get himself killed. Can we have your help, please? So, while you're on your way to kill Nidhogg, you stumbled on some dirty secrets that the Holy See has been hiding for centuries. Eh? What are they on about? Dude, I just told the story in that, like, three-second cutaway. Weren't you listening? The High Houses. And what makes a nobleman so bleeding noble? They trace their blood back to King Thordon and his Knights Twelve, the founders of Ishgard. But our friends here reckon we're all descended from the heroes of Eld. Highborn and lowborn alike. Yeah, you all people failed at math, apparently. And so Sir Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, has gone to ask the Archbishop if he wouldn't mind letting everyone know. Is he simple? The old bastard will have him executed for heresy. Uh, yeah, you guys are the simpletons because she just had to put it in layman's terms for you guys. Well, seems to me that's what the good sir wants. Seems he thinks a noble sacrifice will serve to prove his claims. We cannot stand idly by and allow Sir Emmerich to do this. Ishgard has need of him. Look, you've a good heart, I can see that. Willing to risk your neck for someone else even when his troubles ain't yours. But what's this got to do with me? If Sir Emmerich is imprisoned in the vault, we will need all the help we can muster to breach their defenses and rescue him. Yeah, we're pretty fucking desperate here. What in the hells? Yeah, bitch, this is a private meeting. Um. Ah, the unmistakable scent of heresy. And what do we have here? The honored guests of House Fortom consorting with the Queen of Rats. Ah, uh, this is actually the least offensive thing I've done. Maybe you'd not have heard I was chilling with Lady Iceheart in the fucking city? You'd think that would be worthy of a crime. Ooh, plotting insurrection, I shouldn't wonder. That won't do. Sickness is wont to fester and spread. It must be burnt out ere the infection takes hold. Sir, are you threatening me? I reckon Sir would be happy to wield the irons himself. Well, so happens. I've got irons of my own. Okay, I really like this chick now. <coughs> bullshit! I call bullshit! Take your god mode off, you fucking coward! <laughs> Such simple creatures, rats. Certain to attack when cornered. Who came at me first, dickhead? Let us step outside, my lady. In here, your toys could hurt someone. We're the only ones in here! It's not like there's innocent civilians in here. You're gonna take it outside where they are innocent civilians? You fucking idiot! All right, so, uh... Yeah, you wanna fight? I'll give you a fight. Hey, you're the one who wanted to step outside, buddy. Can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Right there! Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I actually got interrupted in the middle of this incident last time, so I just literally just let myself die and started over. Um, but I actually had an issue where the voice acted lines weren't actually being voice acted, and it was really weird. 
But thankfully now that is that is uh, kind of been rectified, so. They also did idiot things and both of them followed me and all stood in the AoEs with me, which was kind of weird and kind of stupid. So I didn't think something just got messed up with the AI or something. Yeah. After a certain point, it's actually near damn near impossible to die in this instance, by the way. As I was waiting, like, after, because, I mean, I, after sitting there for, like, five minutes after being interrupted, like, I could not just continue. I'm like, I'm just going to start this thing over. And it took forever for me to die, even though it was standing and everything. It was pretty hilarious. Because it's actually, uh, two people who are going to be killing, uh, healing you. Right now, we only have one. So I will actually need to heal myself briefly here. Partially simply because I'm not actually killing anything that I don't need to kill. Um, because I'm letting everyone else handle it. Now, Alphano, would you hurry the fuck up already? So yeah, we can just get away with, uh, just killing the, uh, the healers and going after the big guns itself. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Come on, Alphano. Finish your, like, set- oh my god, I need to fucking try to save because I'm an idiot. He finally summons a carbuncle. Took him damn long enough. I have no idea why the game waits so damn long before he does this. He's kind of blending in the fire, but yes, he's got a ruby carbuncle. He found function just as Topaz. And even though this is actually the first canonical uh, appearance of the ruby carbuncle, it is not unique to him. It's actually pretty dang common. Uh, we just haven't seen any because everyone else prefers the, uh, the emerald and the Topaz. Because he started it? Oh, yeah, you fucking tell him. Yeah, I'm just letting everyone else do all the heavy hitting. Halone, guide my sword. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody's mentioned that either. That, you know, like, the whole history is that, you know, Halone told you to come here and to kind of get rid of Nidhogg and claim this for the Holy Land itself. Yeah, that's not actually what happened now, so... Yeah. I should have tried it. Oh, actually, I have a size now. I forgot about that. Hooray! Because I took way too long to shroud because I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, guys, heal me. There's like two of you who are supposed to be healing me right now. There we go. Yeah, you can pretty much like stand in like everything at this point and like they uh, will actually keep you pretty healed. So I'm just completely ignoring everybody else. Because I can. You know, there's fucking fire everywhere. I guess Sprite's gonna have like a crowd like standing around being like, dude, what the hell is going on? Uh oh. Did your posse not save you? Maybe you forgot on the fucking Warrior of Light. I'm still gonna get rid of this ugly ass staff. There's no denying your gifts. A well deserved reputation indeed. Don't mean somebody else just slayed fucking Nidhogg. Big news. Trying to spread it around town. Maybe you heard it. You think you're any any different from me? Enough! Hmm. Someone finally came to investigate what the hell was going on here. Okay, I call hacks. Ugh, lucky bastard. Nay, tis we who are lucky. Had we fought on, twas but a matter of time before our conflict claimed the life of an innocent bystander. Jeez, it's almost like we shouldn't have stepped outside in the first place. I thought the Heaven's Ward might come here as well. They came to the Temple Knight's headquarters. 
Aye. Sir Grino announced that the Lord Commander had been imprisoned under suspicion of heresy, and that the Heaven's Ward had been granted full authority in his stead. Well, we all should have seen that one coming. Then the Heaven's Ward now commands the Temple Knights. Yes, yes, that's pretty much what she just said. Those still loyal to Sir Emmerich answer to me. Alas, that amounts to but half our number. I love how Carby's just like chilling on the background there. The other half, who opposed his promotion to Lord Commander, have gathered at the vault as ordered. Bolster in the guard already, eh? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were expected. Do you think she gives a I shit? Take it you're in charge around here. Um, yes, Lucia, recruiting them was your idea, remember this? I mean, granted, you didn't know who was in charge, but... Hilda, and yes, the young master was just persuading me to join his lost cause. Convincing little beggar, isn't he? Aye, your passion moved me. A bit. That, and the fact that we're sick of living off the leavings of our betters. If you've a mind to change things around here, then we've a mind to join you. Aww. Friendships forged out of bar fights. Well, sort of. But who cares? New friends. Ah, isn't it so nice that we're making peace with everybody now? Lucy, is there anybody you like? I mean, not that I'm blaming you entirely, or at all, for that matter. Before they discern our- Dude, they already fucking know! They're not idiots! Alvano, I swear to god, you've gotten dumb. Since this expansion started, I really- th No, I'm dead serious when I say I really think somewhere along the line he's probably suffered a concussion and a blow to the head. I'm serious, man. Um, it's looking like that, Tataru. We're, we're 0 for 3 for, uh, them being decent human beings, so... Well, I took the thing, and I fired things out of it, and by the way, this guy summoned a thing that looks kind of like a cat fox thingy out of his book and, and stuff, and I'm sure that was pretty cool too, huh? Estinia, where the fuck are you? You know, your help would have been really useful right about now too. Okay, yeah, so, so guys, guys, can we have peace now? Have I, have I earned your trust? I would put my arms around your shoulder, but my there I, there are no emotes for doing that. Okay, so we cool now. We cool. Okay, we're cool. So hi Hilda, my name is Nameless Protagonist. Thank you for joining our cause. You are cool. I like you. Yeah, they're the people who make the guns. Aw, she's so sweet. Aw, this is the best, you guys. Family reunion for everybody. Well, actually, that was probably the worst thing I could say right now, but, um... Alright, Alphano? Dude, dude, calm the hell down, okay? Dude. We made friends with the heretic's leader. We fucking climbed Solm all. We befriended a tribe of Mughals. We stared in the face of the fucking great worm Harisvaga. You've been through more shit than this. We'll be fine. Remember? You and I, two of us, kicked the shit out of two of the, uh, the Heaven's Ward way back when? When you didn't know what the fuck you were doing in combat at all? Yeah, it'll be okay, buddy. It'll be okay. I think Alphano's the only one with new dialogue here. Yeah, okay. Alright. 
I know this episode is going along a little bit much, but I need to open the next dungeon. Get on with it! Okay, to what extent though? Well, the omniscience plot actually already told us who it is. It was the Heaven's Ward, it's themselves. You know, their guests? Yeah. Yeah, see, Hilda's smart, she figured this out. Well, of course they wouldn't. They didn't know we made friends with her in the first place. I'm still going with we take the shoot two to shorty pants and we make our way through the ductwork. You have a nickname. We were specifically told to seek you out. You have pull. And you already said, you know, one of the high houses, you know, guy who makes your guns. Yeah. We're not dumb here. We're pretty smart. Well, most of us. It's too bad we can't call up Iceheart and be like, Hey! Hey! We're gonna, we're gonna finish phase, stage of fake attack. You want in? You totally want in? God. Are we gonna do it like all in with the hands and fist bump or anything like that? No? Well, actually, I have a staff, but. Then we all celebrate and we all get drunk. And we're like, haha, Archbishop, your secret's out. What are you gonna do? Yes. Alphano, like, I swear, you're actually gonna get a pee your pants over this. Yeah, we, we've done what's worse, like, ap Operation Absolute Absurdity, don't you remember that? That, like, happened, like, yesterday. Our, yeah, there's like six of us here, Lucia, okay? We don't need to make a big spectacle out of it. Uh, maybe we ought to get Istinian involved. He's kind of not here right now. I mean, I'm I'm quite damn certain he's pretty gonna be pretty game with this idea, but we should find him. You know, let him see for himself who the players are involved and all that stuff like that. And yeah. Yeah, all we really need to know about that is kick some ass and not die. So I assume Tutter is going back to the Forgotten Knight to go chillin'. No, I didn't want to talk to you. No, I want to talk to my little friend over here who can't even reach the counter. It's okay, Tutter, it's okay. We we've been through worse. We'll be okay. So back up the steps to a place where we haven't been, probably since we first stepped foot in Ishgard proper, the Holy Vault. Which is our next dungeon! Which obviously we're gonna have to do in the next episode. I really wanted to open that up, so apologies for the length on this one. So I could get that started. So yes, yes. We're really gonna do this. Break in all of frontal assault. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, my body is ready. Sir Emmerich, you have nothing to fear. Your rescue squad is coming to get you. 
you may have to kill your daddy and all, but 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 I'm sure that's immaterial and all that. So thank you for watching, friends, and I will see you next time.